Excuse me. You Mr. Ballard? Yeah, that'd be me. I'm Georgie. Connie Tucker's grandson. Oh, yeah. The hair. Very pretty. Hang on a second. I gotta deal with this guy, okay? Take your time. So, here you go. Here's the rod you were asking about. Now, that's a good choice. Very mm -hmm. solid. Mm -hmm. And then I just brought this one along to show you, just in case later, you know, you get serious about fishing. Well, I'm pretty serious. Yeah. You know, I, I had that feeling. <laughs> What's your name? Jim. Jim. Well, Jim, this rod's a little pricey. It's double the cost of that one, but it's worth every penny. And that's uh, the rod I use. Well, then that's the one I want. Well, that's a good choice. There you go. Now, with a rod like this, you want to use live bait, and we don't carry that here. But down the street is Ed's Bait and Tackle Shop. And if you tell him Dale sent you, he'll take care of you. I appreciate that. So take her over there to Bernice, and she'll ring you up. Thanks. Hey, and, and bring me back some catfish. You bet. Yeah. You're a really good salesman. Well, yeah, not only that, I get a kickback on everybody I send down to Ed's. You're awesome. I know. Ooh, 35 cents off Goober. What's Goober? Peanut butter and jelly in the same jar. Think about how much time we'd save. Hey. Dale give you a good price on those weights. Better. He gave me a job. Damn. He did have fun last night. What kind of job? Salesman. Well, congratulations. I'm gonna learn a lot from him. He's real good at getting people to spend money on stuff they don't need. Well, I don't know if I like the sound of that. You know what I like the sound of? Ka-ching! <laughs> well, thank you. That's a very generous offer. Let me discuss it with my family and I'll get back to you. Bye. What was that about? Are you my family? I don't know. I like to think of myself as your work wife. So that's why I wanted to give you a heads up. I gotta tell you, George, this is a real blow. Appreciate it, but uh, yeah, you'll find someone. There's, there's a lot of good coaches out there. Not you. Sheldon. Sheldon? I thought everyone would be thrilled for him to leave. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, your kid is a royal pain in the ass. I have a problem with this permission slip. You didn't cut them in half evenly. Mine has two holes and Derek here just has one. Then try it. Then Derek will have two holes and mine will have one. You're not going to the water park anyway! However, his state test scores are so extraordinary, the school actually gets more funding because of it. Are you serious? Serious as the fire alarms, which are now functional. And always were, if anyone asks. I don't know what to tell you. Tom, I just, they're offering me a pretty nice raise. Well, I can't afford to lose Sheldon. So, what's it gonna take to keep you all here, George? <clears throat> Thank you. I will discuss it with my family and get back to you. Good. a kerfuffle at the church today. Pastor Jeff promised Patricia Richards she could sing How Great Thou Art on Sunday, but I had already printed in the bulletin that Karen Baker was going to sing it. They agreed to a duet, but it was touch and go. What's a kerfuffle? Not that. Hey. Hey, how was your first day at work? Amazing. I made $38 on commissions alone. Well, good for you. What's for dinner? Meatloaf. Oh, I think I'm gonna go out to eat. No, you are not. We are having dinner as a family. Yeah, but I got money now, and I can do what I want. And what I want is a chimichanga at Chi Chi's. I want a chimichanga from Chi Chi's. They do have a good margarita. You are eating here. So are you. I don't care what you do. Later. Georgie Cooper, do not walk out of that door. Georgie! That's a kerfuffle. Missy? Let this be a lesson to you. The love of money is the root of all evil. Hey, you would not believe the wheeling and dealing I did today. I'm playing the high school and the university against each other. <laughs> hey, what do you say we go out to dinner? Chi-Chi's is good. Ooh, Jimmy Chungus. 